This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, discounted prices, miniaturemarket.com. Missile Command is a negotiation game for three to six players where each player is going to have some secret items behind their shield like missiles and nukes and ways to defend with interceptors, but you're going to be negotiating and trying to figure out which of the cities and which person you're going to pick on and try to destroy. During a three minute time negotiation each round, you're making non-binding negotiations with other players, but everyone is seeing what you're buying in pure light so they can see whether you're lying or not or what your tendencies are. You can also sell all sorts of missiles and nukes to other players during this round. After negotiation, everyone is planning as to who they're hitting and which city they want to hit. Once all players reveal, we see which cities of who are being destroyed, and destroyed cities will get you powerful abilities that you can use throughout the game. But you can buy and use interceptors to stop missiles from hitting you. And people can use nukes to not only destroy one city, but one with an adjacent number, like two and three. And at the end of the round, everyone gets however much money is on all their cities, and you start this all over again. And at the end, you'll be getting points for destroying other player cities and with leftover money and missiles. Hello, my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. Missile Command has a great nostalgic theme with Atari. Played the game a lot as a kid and you might like it as well. I like the open-ended negotiation where you're backstabbing each other, going off on deals that you made earlier and it's completely open but timed. I like how the cities have different abilities and different amount of money when they flip over and it gives you more of a strategy as the game goes on. I like how you can threaten with the nukes to make sure that you keep people in check, but you can also build up a defense to deter everybody. I like that the game has a good arc to it. However, on the bad side, uh, the games can sometimes go off the rails with different groups and the, 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 the dynamics of them. Uh, this game is very mean, so it might be too mean for others, and I felt it outstayed its welcome just a little bit, where towards the end people are trying to wring out as many points, and it could go a little bit too many rounds for what the game is. I also thought that the randomized uh, card abilities and such were not very balanced. They could be unbalanced, where some, some players can get a very good synergy and run away with the game, where others' cards just don't synergize well, depending on what they have, and they have a hard time winning the game. Uh, see my full review to see exactly what I'm talking about there, but overall, uh, a decent game, not one that stood really out to me, not one I'm dying to play again, but it does have that nostalgic value if you're looking for a negotiation game, and that's Missile Command. This video was sponsored by Miniature Markets Review Corner. The Review Corner features podcasts, video, and written game reviews by gamers for gamers. Miniature Market, the online gaming superstore. Thousands of board games, discounted prices. Check them out at miniaturemarket.com.